when everyone is looking over there, sometimes you gotta turn around and look that way. Let's talk about Commander Masters. Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Today, I wanna to chat a little bit about a set that came out an entire year ago, Commander Masters. Not even a, I don't even think it's been a full year and things are already getting interesting. Um, everyone's focused on Modern Horizons 3 these days. We just had the Modern Horizons 3 Pro Tour. Lots of conversation about that. The market is accepting the product. It's doing really, really well. And that is great, but there's some stuff going on with Commander Masters that I think you should be aware of. Um, Commander Masters, uh, interesting enough, as much as we complain about the price point when it came out initially, has been one of the highest selling things uh, for my the gold wizards in my Discord server who are picking up product uh, and crack, a lot of them crack it for singles. Uh, they buy product at the kind of distro price, they crack for singles, that's kind of their business model. There's a lot of people uh, who do that. And Commander Masters has been a product that a lot of them have really liked, particularly the Commander decks, the collector boxes, and uh, a while ago, the draft boxes. Now the set boxes, nobody likes. We're not even talking about set boxes. I still think even on the secondary market right now, set boxes are a little extreme. You're even seeing a dip in the in the set boxes. Those are kind of the outlier in this conversation. Uh, for this conversation, primarily what I'm talking about is the commander decks and the collector boxes, because both of those products have been kind of put on a, a watch list from distribution. They have risen, rose the price on both of them. Even after a restock of commander decks, um, we, we're seeing kind of price increases across the board and distros basically not matching prices because what they say is that they can't get more. And that's the heart of this video. This is why we're having this conversation. I'm not calling it like a last call. I'm not telling you that this is definitely the time to buy these products, but it is very interesting when distribution starts limiting products or um, or increasing price points. We're seeing an increase of, you know, 20 to 30 bucks at distribution cost for the collector boxes. Uh, it's very, very interesting when that starts to happen. It tells you that something is going on kind of behind the scenes. So I want to talk about Commander Masters a little bit because next year, Right now we're in Modern Horizons 3 and the focus, right, is on magic, the theme of Magic the Gathering. It is a true Magic the Gathering set in Modern Horizons 3 and that is the big flagship set of this year. It's the summer set, it's the one everyone's been excited for. All the attention is on a Magic the Gathering themed set, which is great. Next year though, and this is where I start looking kind of into the future and start making sure uh, that I have stuff for myself and that whatever. Next year, the flagship set is Marvel. Okay, if you, if you haven't caught on to this, you don't remember this, 2025 is going to be the year of Magic the Gathering with uh, the Marvel characters. You're gonna have Spider-Man, you're gonna have uh, the Iron Man, you're gonna have, that's gonna be the year of Magic the Gathering X Marvel. And in my opinion, there's going to be a lot of people who miss the kind of true Magic the Gathering feel. Um, you know, you're going to have the hype and the excitement and whatever of Marvel that's going to exist. There's certainly going to be that. But on the other end, there's going to be people who either come into the game and they're looking for a truer Magic feel or people who uh, come back in the game like, I don't really want to play with Marvel. They're going to be looking for that kind of authentic Magic the Gathering feeling. And that's where something like Commander Masters, if we've now are out of supply, I think has a run and can really go up in value, like kind of insane. We could see some expensive commander decks. We can see some expensive collector boxes some stuff like that, where people are going to want that true uh, magic together and feel and commander masters did that so well. It feels like magic. You're playing with slivers, the Eldrazi, you've got planeswalkers, you've got enchantments, you've got all these things that scream magic, the gathering, unlike, you know, something like Marvel. And so, Looking into the supply issues right now, I guess not really supply issues, but uh, the tightness that the distro is doing, uh, it tells me that something has changed with the supply and this might be a good opportunity to start looking into that. Now, I do think draft boxes are an interesting one because uh, draft boxes are low right now and distribution is out of them. Both distros uh, don't have current product you know, on open order. Uh, and I love Commander Master's Draft. Commander Master's Draft is an absolute beauty. It is so much fun to do. 
And so I would hope that we would get a restock. I would hope that that kind of format would be alive for more than just the nine or 10 months that Commander Masters has been out. I would hope that we do get kind of a, a restock on that product. Um, but the other products, I don't think that they are anticipating kind of a restock and a rewave. So if you are a single seller, uh, you may need to pick out a new product uh, because price is going up. Uh, we can still get the collector, the commander decks at very similar prices, but collector boxes are, are those are done. They rose the price, those are it. Uh, the commander decks still might have some arbitrage, but as this runs out of product, it'll be super interesting because as the distribution runs out of product and it increases the price for those who are cracking singles, you're going to start seeing some of the singles prices that don't get reprinted in another set and that kind of thing start to trickle up. And that's just going to cause a whole ship to move up. There have been a lot of people. It's not just people who are buying from me. Trust me. Uh, I'm not the source of most of the magic product in the industry. There have been a lot of people cracking modern commander masters for singles. A lot of those singles are deflated right now because people have been cracking it like crazy, putting cards into the secondary market because of that kind of arbitrage opportunity. As soon as the well runs dry, that kind of price point on those things will have a tendency to drip up as long as there's not, again, like a big reprint. But things like Jeweled Lotus, already an $85 card. Uh, the the Throne, uh, the Great Henge, still a $55 you know, card in the set. There's a ton of value still over $10, and a lot of that can drift up if there's not a supply there. So uh, just a thought for Commander Masters, again, uh, with Modern Horizons 3 kind of being the focal point, sometimes we forget about those sets. So to turn around and look at things and a different thing that's going on. Uh, for me, my per my perspective, I've been making sure I have some commander decks available uh, as you know the store is gonna need them. I, I made sure I've got my collector boxes. I wanted a case of the collector boxes uh, kind of tucked away for myself uh, for kind of uh, the sealed product side of things. And then for me, I really love the commander draft. So I made sure our store had a couple cases of commander draft. Uh, that way in the future, we can do that kind of draft fun thing um, I'd anticipate some sort of commander draft set next year it seems like every two years or so they're trying to do that so maybe it's but maybe that's tied again to that Marvel thing which works for some people and is going to be great but if you don't see a full-fledged commander style draft again commander masters could be a really really big one unless they do like Commander Masters 2, in which case this whole video, don't listen to it. Because if they do a Commander Masters 2 in two years, uh, who knows what will happen to Commander Masters 1. Have yourselves a great day. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to be kind to the people around you. And if you're looking to support the channel or want to just hang out in the Discord server, head on over to kitchentabletcg.com. Be kind to the people around you. We'll see you guys next video.